the information I have from um, my staff that actually live five kilometers from the checkpoint to Chernobyl zone is not good. It's already occupied by Russian forces. Has the site been damaged in any way? What are you hearing? Well, the Chernobyl exclusion zone has a system, monitoring system and it does show a race of radiation, but uh, more likely it's not because uh, the nuclear waste storage facilities are damaged, but um, the heavy use of the machine and tanks on the soil. So basically, uh, the, if they drive not on the road, but uh, on, on, on the soil, on the ground near the soil, they can raise a little bit of radioactive dust. So, and there is a little bit of rise, not big rise of radiation in the air right now. And what are your concerns now that it's under Russian control in terms of safety around the area? Well, I mean, you, you can't trust Russians now. I mean, everybody understands that. So uh, the, I don't know what, what, what is in their head. Um, do do they want to destroy those facilities to make more harm? I don't know. They will use it um, to threaten Ukraine. I'm, I have no idea. But it's it's pretty dangerous situation, just to my mind. Do you have any further thoughts on why it was targeted by Russia? Um, well, it's it's said like many times, but we, we, we all know that there are few, I mean, there are a few dozens of ex-KGB uh, old uh, mentally probably not stable people who's basically who lives in their own world. So and th that's the main reason. You've been carrying out tours in the area for many years now. Tell us a bit more about the site and, and the operations that go on there and how they've been disrupted now that it's been taken over. So usually there are about 3,000 people at a time at the Chernobyl, uh, Chernobyl exclusion zone. Some work at the power plant, some uh, scientists, some monitor the situation with radiation, forestry, etc. So at this point, as far as I know, most of them are evacuated to Kyiv right before the Russian troops occupied the territory. And tourists were still visiting Chernobyl uh, about a week ago. Was there any indication that this might happen? Had you been concerned? Well, we were concerned when they made a bridge, like a um, military bridge over the Pripyat River uh, last week. So, and yeah, last, last tour was actually last Saturday with tourists so but we are, like frankly most of us we never we were totally unexpected what happened Sergey, can you tell us a bit more about where you are now and what the situation is like uh we had a planned uh, business trip to turkey on the 23rd of february and it appeared to be basically like a few hours before they closed air, air traffic over the ukraine so right now i'm in turkey and i'm waiting for the first chance to be able to get back to ukraine and you've got a cottage that's just five kilometres outside the exclusion zone. Uh, how are you keeping in touch with uh, people that you know there? So we have, yes, we have a manager who looks after the cottage and she sits, she's been sitting with her family for two days already in the basement. But we have a contact uh, using the Viber. So talking to them, they're pretty shocked. Tell us more about what they've told you and what their plans are in the in the coming days. My employee who's living in Orana, which is next to Chernobyl, they've been sitting in the basement for two days with the, uh, her family. So they, they're very scared. They've been in a contact call almost 24 hours a day. So they can hear machinery, they can hear explosions. they uh, in a total shock. And do you have concerns for your safety if and when you return? Well, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, you know, uh, it, it's, you don't think about safety. You think about your, your, your family. You think about your house. You think about your country. That's what you think about. Um, it's, it's, um, no doubts. I, I, would be, I would be back as soon as I can. There are difficult times at the moment, Sergey. Thanks so much for talking to us. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you.